I, I don't feel like the advantage is like size wise. Like I do have more fights at light heavyweight. Um, I do have like more title fights at light heavyweight too. I had like two title fights in M1, which I won the title and defend the title. I fought for Titan, I fought for the title. I fought four rounds, I finished in the fourth round. And then again, I am a light heavyweight. I'm a legit light heavyweight. So, and also like the way he got his belt at light heavy was by fighting two guys with no whole lot of experience, not a lot of experience like in big shows, like in big fights. So I feel like I do have the advantage like over, over him, like not just because of the size, but like a lot of other like factors, you know, like I said, I'm a legit light heavyweight. I have fought in the big show and I have been to big fights, so. Well, you're known for your jiu-jitsu. Do you think you have the edge there? Uh, I don't even. I don't think I have the edge there. I, I, for a fact, I have the edge there. You know, when it comes to jiu-jitsu, there are very few guys in my division that can really, like, you know, say they're close to my level. Like I would just mention one guy, really, like Robert Drysdale, and that's about it. And uh, Branch's not at that level, definitely not. He's really good on the ground. He can do well against other guys that are like average or below average guys on the ground. But like against guys like me and Drysdale, who do not do well. Yeah, I do have the advantage on the ground. And but the thing is, like, I feel like I have the advantage like in other areas too. You know, like. Uh, if you, if you watch Branch's fights, like, he's always, like, you know, he wants to be that guy, oh, I'm a boxer, I can box, I can look good. And then as soon as he gets hit, he just goes straight for wrestling and tries to take people to the ground, which I think if he does that against him, it's going to be a big mistake. Do you think that you're more of a finisher than he is? Well, like, as far as numbers, when you go to numbers, even, like, if you count my three fights, an old fighter, you know, like, I've just had my first decision win, like, in my last fight. Yeah. And... Uh, all the other fights are all by finish. So, so for, for fact, yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to be more of a finish than a guy that goes to decision. As a matter of fact, though, like Branch, like he just had his first decision in his last fight, like over the last, I think, four or five fights. So he had like yeah. a few wins. You know, he took out uh, Yushin Okami. One Okami was a number five in the world. So, you know, he has some legit wins. Uh, he was actually in a good finishing streak, too. So, like, he's a guy who's, you know, he had his like little finish streak, but he's like mostly, if you watch his fights, mostly go like to boring decisions. You've changed up times recently. You used to wear at Syndicate, yeah. now you're back here at Extreme, where you used to be. What made you prompt the change? Uh, the thing is, like, after my last camp, it's not like uh, I had a great training partners there, like uh, uh, Corey Turner, Corey Hendricks, Tom Lawler. Uh, I had, like, really good training partners there, but the thing is, I, was, I, was, I felt like for my last camp, I wasn't being pushed the way I should uh, by trainers. And uh, not my match my Muay Thai coach, who works there. And uh, I still work with him because, like, you know, he's a great Muay Thai coach that's been working with him for four years. But uh, overall, I felt like, you know, I wasn't being pushed for, like, you know, the type of fights that I was looking to get. Like, and I knew that if I had won that fight, I would be, I would be fighting for the title. And I just felt, like, a little unprepared for that fight. So I had, I had already made the decision of, like, train here, like, uh, to train for this title fight. And uh, it made much easier when I, gave, when I gave up my job there. So I was like, well, no, I don't even have any kind of commitment with the gym. So it makes so much easier for me to go to cool tours and stay there. Well, there's no pressure. No, it's just not the fight. To be honest, like, I, I don't put pressure at all for the fact that it's a title fight. So I was, it's, it just, for whatever reason, it gets a little bit, like, more difficult, like, mentally when you start to get in a winning streak. And you know, when I actually had my, my last loss, so the, the first fight after that one was like, you know, I'm coming off to loss. So it's almost people expect me to lose again. And when it's in a row, it's like, oh, I'm getting in the right track. But there's now there's more pressure. So I think the biggest pressure now is to keep that streak going, which has nothing to do with the title fight. It has nothing to do with who I'm fighting. And then again, you know, especially who I'm fighting, I feel like I fought guys that are better than David Branch, at least on paper, you know, like besides the fact that he has two belts, I feel like the, the legit belt that he has a middleweight that he's fought like really tough competition. As far as light heavyweight, it's like, you know, it's there, he has it, but uh, I don't feel like he has really had big challenges in that division. And how do you...